<laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I'm Razim, and we are doing Dwarf Fortress this evening. Uh, we had a... Uh... <clears throat> I, I ran out of time last night and accidentally started up the next battle, so we uh, kind of need to resolve that, uh, as we already have. So, Lightning Dragon last night had max troops, most kills, and most assists. Bump you up to 50. Uh, the Friendly Festian, you were tied for most assists. I don't remember seeing Ram Cyrus, uh, Ram Cyrus uh, last night. Uh, Rachella, I know they were here. They were tied for most kills. And it looks like that is it. Alrighty. The Buster Scroll goes to the friendly Festian. I swear this game really likes you, Festian. Oh god, this is a nasty battle. Guys! So, I do have a question for you all. How interested would you guys be in a stream of me working on some race stuff for Dungeons and Dragons? Also, last time the game crashed again, for some reason, it really does not like this second tower at all. Also, I need to turn on Fast Dwarf again. Dwarf Fortress crashes all the time. I mean, there's a reason it's still in, uh, Alpha. No, we want limestone blocks. Bada boom, baby. Bada, frada, boom. I'm guessing there is a corrupt piece above this tower location, which is why it keeps crashing. Which is unfortunate, because it's gonna bug me. But I will try my best to somehow get it to work. Oh, 
Also, I seem to have somehow misplaced one of my favorite vape flavors. It's called Ricky Bobby. The flavor is a Grape Lime Ricky. And I know I had a bottle of it, but I have no idea where it went. I'm pretty sure Festian stole it. All right, let's get these stairs set up. Uh, my desk has a raised portion, uh, basically a wall, so things aren't don't uh, have the ability to fall behind my desk. Good idea normally, though. Really? There we go. Thank you, dwarves. Thank you, Otter Space Foundation. <laughs> uh, blocks. As much as I can. At the least, I'm fairly certain that I have a second and a new bottle in the bags. I just haven't checked yet. Maybe I did finish off the other one. I might. Have, I would have thrown it in my recycling bin. Because, you know, you gotta recycle, guys. And you need to wear a mask. That is also important. So far, I have been able to successfully get the floor and stuff done before it crashes building this thing. So we're going to take it nice and easy. Probably going to be a lot of saving and stuff uh, along the way here. Just so you all know. Uh, let's do the upstair here. Sure, we can use mica blocks. I don't care what we use. The downstair mica block. <laughs> did, did you get bit by a hornet recently, uh, gaming furry or something? You seem to really have issues with hornets. I mean, they're absolute assholes. I, I'm not going to question that. It just, you know, commenting.
And let's not forget the murder hornets. <clears throat> I mean, there are literally murder hornets, Arian. <laughs> Why did you stop building this bridge? Do I have auto labor enabled? Okay, I did. Which me Which of course means that they took away the masonry job. Let's fix that. There we go. But aside from eating wasps, what is their purpose? Uh, look away if you guys need to. You're good to look back. Just because of how long it takes to actually set up a, uh, And to actually save the game, I'm wanting to take this nice and slow, or uh, I'm wanting to get as much done between saves as I can, but at the same time, I don't want to have to uh, redo it all. Alright, let's look up bees. Bzz, 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 bzz. Honeybees are a type of vermin found in any area that isn't freezing, and can spawn after embark, even if not originally present. Their wild colonies can be transferred into artificial hives, and used in the beekeeping industry, producing royal jelly, honey, and wax as end products. They can sting a nearby dwarf, resulting in the death of the bee, and causing slight pain, but no negative thought for the dwarf. This sometimes results in the Recover Wounded task, which may actually give a good thought to this stung dwarf. There are often tens of thousands inside mature hives. They are not killed by cats, but they can fill up your refuse stockpile if dwarves are regularly stung by them. Some dwarves like honeybees for their busy nature, their buzzing, and their ability to organize. Yeah, I could get that, uh, gaming furry. Th that's just kind of my opinion on all of this, though. It's like, we really... 
I, I would be okay with us just not having hornets or wasps. Bees are great. Bees are fantastic. Bees have very good PR reps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where's my other bottle of Ricky Bobby? There it is. Since I can't find my original one, we will break out the new one. It's probably in my car for at work. Well, unfortunately, we can't leave yet. Before we can really move beyond our planet, we all kind of need to get along and agree that, hey, maybe NASA is a good thing to fund. But let's avoid politics for the moment. <laughs> I just want to have a nice, relaxing night with all of you wonderful people, all my wonderful friends here. At least I hope we're all friends. I know that Festians are a bit feisty and uh, don't generally care to have friends. More like uh, acquisitions that they use, but you know, I still consider you a friend, Festian. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Hi, and buzz, buzz. Bzz, 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 bzz. <laughs> and. And, like, there's some insects that are kind of, like, well, annoying. But there's some variants of them that actually not interested in what you're cooking versus to what's attracted to your cooking. That's pretty much what a bold face hornet, if I'm saying that right, does. It's interested only into, like, the flying pests that come by. Including there are lovely yellow ones that don't like, that everyone doesn't like because it wants to bite, take a bite out of you. Bzz, 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 bzz. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, I've run into this difficult position where it's like I, I, I the Noble Wild book uh, describes them as basically growing up by taking a class in their racial class. Okay. Uh, so they start off young and then they grow older and get bigger. They get a better bite, etc., etc. But at the same time, I always worry about doing that because it means that he's going to miss out, and myself, we're going to miss out on the level of our class, of our actual, you know, class, class. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking I will find a way to set it up so that way it's got a thing for each class and it'll give them a bonus to that. Hey there, Drogon. It is a wonderful time to see you here this evening. How are you? Cool. We got all those floors done. Let's save. The beekeeping industry is an agricultural process that involves farming honeybees in built hives. To produce honeycombs and royal jelly, the former of which is further processed into honey and wax. 
The primary skill and labor used in this industry is beekeeping. Bzz, bzz. Also, you can make mead. With the honey. I know. Needs more bows. Oh. <laughs> Wild colonies of bees must be present on the map. Since live vermin cannot be bought during embark, wild bees are necessary to start beekeeping. Colonies of bees can appear in any non-freezing land biome, which excludes mountains, glaciers, and tundras. While they are common in places, they appear, frequency 100, bees are not ubiquitous thus are not guaranteed to appear in every region. Bumblebees cannot be used in beekeeping. They do possess their own version of honey, royal jelly, wax, and even mead, all of which are unattainable in normal gameplay. Okay. <clears throat> Honeybees are one of the vermin soil colony creatures, which includes bumblebees, ants, and termites. Colonies of honeybees appear randomly in the, on the surface ground as circle. Maps have a hard limit to how many wild colonies can appear simultaneous, simultaneously. If new colonies stop appearing, it means this limit has been reached. Therefore, honeybee colonies might be unable to spawn because the space is occupied by other vermin colonies. Building dirt roads over existing colonies frees up space for new ones to generate. Wait, what? Ants and termites are actually a thing in this game? I had no idea. But we don't have anything made of wood, so you don't know where we've got termites. Unless there's furniture, which we are um, mostly dead. We do have some wooden furniture, uh, but I still had no idea these were parts of the game. Yeah. It shouldn't surprise me as much as it is because, you know, this game is going to become sentient. As long as you don't have giant termites. Oh, wait. Knowing them, they might think of that. If a colony cannot be found after searching, set up a single hive and leave it for about a year as a last-ditch effort. Beekeepers will immediately be able to find an accessible honeybee colony that may have gone unnoticed or spawned inconspicuously. Occasionally check the hive for live bees by viewing the building with T from the menu. Uh, we'll go ahead and do some more work here, and then I'll continue reading the article. Because I've never done beekeeping before, and somebody brought it up last time, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it out. That sounds like a fun and interesting challenge. Yeah, that's the thing about the yellow ones. Unlike the, the one I'm referring to, I think it's a blue body uh, hornet with a white head. And they tend to, like, well, be decently sized, and they tend to munch on the other hornets and the uh, wasp and everything else that flies that isn't, uh, that is a pest. Just they're just kind of grumpy like normal. Just reacting to what's in the text chat over there. I know. I appreciate it. Mostly because I don't really know that much about them. I know I cost. I, I caught a uh, yellow jacket a while back. It was a temporary guest star on the stream. Oh. <sighs> I don't 
It, uh... Huh? I don't like JLO jackets too much. They're the ones that tend to be butts. Because they go after your sweet stuff. Oh, hey, it's saving now. On its own, because, uh, winter has arrived. Hives are a tool. They can be made in a variety of hard materials from their respective workshops and labors. Beekeepers themselves do not make them. Hives are stored in finished goods stockpiles. They can be built by opening the building menu and either selecting Hive or pressing Alt-H. They can be built on any hard surface, both indoors and outdoors. Citizens with beekeeping enabled are needed to build them. Tile attributes affect honey production. In order for hives to produce, they must be built adjacent to, or on, an above ground tile. Uh, subterranean hives can still store colonies that can be used later for splitting, but they cannot produce anything. Hives are marked as having either outdoor or no outdoor access. This is referring to the above ground and subterranean attributes, not the outside and inside attributes. Uh, hives can produce normally in both outside and inside tiles. So long as hives are placed above ground, they can be completely enclosed with constructions from outside while still creating products, allowing beekeepers to work safely at all times. Okay, well that's good to know. That is uh, very good to know, actually. Because I thought they had to be built outside and was like, I don't want to do that. They just need to be on, well, above ground level. So, literally anywhere in my fortress. <laughs> Please. Yeah, I am starting to get worried about my uh, ability to produce uh, fish. Because it seems that I have somehow managed to clear out all of the fish. I don't uh. know how. But it keeps telling me I have. I guess you need to work on something else. But I like my muscle shell crafts. I think we made muscle shells go instinct. No! Did I make uh, clay? I don't think so. Uh, collect clay. Let's do 200. I'm pretty sure I've got somewhere set up for collecting clay. bug issues. I think I have a bug light, a bite on my leg. I have several mosquito bites. They drive me nuts. But it's best to leave them alone. Or they'll only get worse. The annoyance about them. Yeah, I'm not very good at that. I know it's best to leave them be, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> Maybe you can find something that help with the itch, uh, cream that help with the itching. <laughs> First, I have to be able to get to a store when they're open. Yeah. I swear, if one of you builds this wall from the outside... Oh, great, it's me. <laughs> uh, if it weren't me, I would absolutely be like, well, you get to stay out there now. But no. Because you're important. Yeah. Alright, let's save.
All right. Yeah, those guys are the ones that tend to be jerks at your uh, barbecues. Legacy of Gaming, I have no idea, but I'm thinking it's actually going to be pretty soon. But as we all know, time is subjective. Managing hives is fairly automated. Beekeepers will perform most of the necessary jobs on their own when available. There are two options in the building settings that can be toggled to control beekeepers from installing colonies or from gathering products in a hive. Hives are set by default to allow colony installation and production gathering. Install colony in hive when a beekeeper installs a colony to a new hive. Collect hive products when a beekeeper gathers the products from a hive. Examining hives. Hovering the cursor near a hive in the building men settings menu, Q, will display which options have been set for that hive. All right. To see if a hive as a colony, use the items in uh, use the view items in buildings menu. If a colony is present, it will show a stack of live. Hold on. Jaffer, it is fantastic to see you. How are you? You've been gone. Well, we got a stream raiders to go do, so let's go do it. Shall we? Start the battle! Yeah, I know. I still miss ya. And it's still good to see you again. That poor centurion. I was trying to post one, one more thing over there and for some reason didn't let me. It like lagged. And we have achieved victory! Alright, nobody had max troops. But we do have trying. the friendly Festian with most kills and most assists. And also Drogon, or Drogon was tied for most uh, assists. There we go. Well, it's really great to see you again, Jaffer. Thanks for coming by again. A Legacy of Gaming, congratulations on the Bomber Scroll. On to the monster battle. Against massive odds, will we achieve a victory worthy of the legends of all? Only time will tell. Come, my minions, place your troops. Let us bring a victory from the corpses of these monsters. Or something to that effect. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully. Let's go ahead and switch on over to a different playlist, though.
We'll go with some nice, good old jazz. So come on, everyone. Let's go ahead and chill out this evening with just a bit of uh, nice, relaxing jazz. We're going to have ourselves a good old time right down in here. Just relaxing and enjoying the jazz. It'll be smooth. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> huh? It'll like, it'll like, I have no problem with jazz. Oh, I think uh, Gaming Furry is referring to the voice that I was using there. Oh. <laughs> because it's be fun. Fun. be funny a little like your little uh martin character some reason sounds like that <laughs> oh god yes <laughs> it'd be amazing I have this big deep voice on this little cute <laughs> By far the tiniest member of the group with a big old deep voice. A nice, deep, smooth face. <laughs> what am I doing again as the professor? Oh, what you said before about I don't the remember what the hell I said. Uh, I don't either, so <laughs> I can't help you either. You mistake me for somebody that planned any of this. Well, well, uh, we're, we're just uh, going ahead and building this uh, little building here, one uh, floor at a time, and uh, saving in between each... Uh, to uh, attempt to avoid a uh, one of the dreaded crashes, uh, they, they've been a uh, real plague to the uh, to the entire uh, gameplay and streams as a whole, and so we're just not able to really uh, achieve the uh, goal that we're going for because of these constant crashes that keep happening from it. Uh, so we just gotta take it nice, easy, and slow, and uh, ensure that we don't have a uh, crash uh, along the way. Uh, we're saving frequently, so we don't lose any of our progress on all of it. Ah, uh, yes, we are uh, relaxing now this evening with just a bit of a smooth jazz. Uh, it's just a really nice, uh, relaxing genre of music. Uh, it's one that I uh, personally quite enjoy. Uh, just uh, relaxing and having a good old time with all of you friends uh, here. Uh, we just uh, want to relax and uh, have a good time with the smooth jazz. There, have I satisfied your requirements, Jaffer? <laughs> <laughs> to see if a hive... Well, I can do this. Uh, to see if a hive has a colony, use the View Items in Buildings menu. If a colony is present, it will show a stack of live honeybees inside a built hive. It will also show if the hive contains a honeycomb or royal jelly. To know how many hives are currently built on the map, open the building menu and look for the number next to the hive button. <clears throat> Beekeepers automatically haul colonies to new hives as long as they have access to a wild colony or another colony that is ready to be split from another hive. They must have their setting to install colony when ready. Hives set to do not install colony will not accept new colonies, even after existing colonies are destroyed. 
If the settings change or the hive gets slated for removal before the beekeeper reaches the hive to install a new colony, then the job gets cancelled and the hauled colony is removed from the beekeeper. Beekeepers usually go for the closest available colony to install, whether it's a wild colony or a colony in a hive. Assigning beekeepers to burrows can prevent them from seeking other hives. Okay, I can't do that voice for too long. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I noticed this spot. So there's some nut fruits there, apparently. Are those possibly what's been causing the game to crash? I huh? guess we will find out uh, soon. There's some uh, nuts that are just floating up here. Like, somehow some paradise nuts got left on that, the corner of the building. And that might actually be what's been causing the crashes. You can always delete it from existence. No, I can't. No. All right. This building is finished. At last. I can have... 40 colonies? I mean, I appreciate that there's a limit, but that is an insanely high limit. <clears throat> okay. An empty jug is required to gather the products. Okay. Well, that's good to know. All right. So we are collecting clay now, which is good. We're gonna go ahead and re-enable auto labor. Uh, we will add a new All right, we will make 40 clay jugs. There we go. Why not? Did we set these up as bedrooms yet? Yes. So, we still have seven people without a bedroom. But we have 31 unowned bedrooms, so it's their own damn fault. <clears throat> All right, let's set ourselves up a... Chief Medical Dwarf. 
which will be Festian. And we need to give you... Well, you don't really need an office, but I want to give you one anyways. Okay. <laughs> uh, th this is where you say thank you for being so considerate. I was a little surprised. Wait, who voted me for what? <laughs> Nobody voted you for it. <laughs> what am I being? You are the chief medical dwarf. Oh, okay. Thanks for the office. An office, private dining room, and... A uh, new bedroom. A much better bedroom. You know, we don't actually have uh, Jaffer in this uh, colony. Uh, Drogon, I am always open to renaming uh, dwarves. Uh, but Festian uh, has a spawned in animal person. Uh, if you go down beneath, uh, beneath the chat in the uh, the cobalt marks, the uh, channel points, uh, you can actually uh, redeem that to have a animal person spawned in for you. If you're interested. Now, I want some bookcases. Uh, Drogon, you kind of need to put in the options for it. Like, uh, what animal <laughs> they are and what, uh, three things you want them to be, um... Yeah, three skills, uh, what animal, uh, the gender, you know, <laughs> kind of need that. <laughs> What's the, the, the thing to get the list for the animal folks again? Uh, they're in the, uh, description of the reward. Uh, look in the description for the reward, and you can see what races there are. A dog person? I don't... I don't know if there are dog people. I know there's a wolf person. But dog, I'm not too sure. I'll go snoop instead to see what it is. Not buying it, just one. Well, we still have lots of silver bars. But I think I'm gonna re or undo this one and do zinc bookcases. Not book binding, bookcase. Five. Because I think that the uh, chief medical dwarf would have bookcases in their uh, office as opposed to, you know, uh, as opposed to an armor and weapon stand. <clears throat> We need another storage for food. Look around to see what I can find. Unfortunately, we have mined the hell out of most of the floors. <laughs> Just yeah, there's a, a whole wolf man. bunch of. Yeah, there's a wolf man. Yeah. You should look on that. Let's see what was there. Yeah, just pick out your race, pick out your uh, everything else, and I'll get one spawned in. Oh, right. I never finished the floor down here.
floor. Actually, I can probably do it this way. Limestone! Alright, Drogon, well, I still need to know the, uh, you know, the actual, uh, the gender of it, as well as what, uh, skills you want them to have. There's quite a few. Maybe they can be a beekeeper. Oh, wait. I think we've got beekeepers already. Oh, okay. At least if we don't, it'd be really embarrassing to have made all to have gone through all the beekeeping stuff. <laughs> hmm. Where are bookcases? Ah, alt C. There's quite a few things. There's the miner. There's the old early carpenter, woodcutter, engraver. All the different random, and then there's the different doctors. And there's also different things for farming. There's the... Uh, and Festian uh, linked the skills that are available uh, just up above there. Yeah, they're kind of like... They're pretty much the different professions. They would... Well, there would be in that link there. And you scroll down, they'll actually <clears throat> give you to a chart, a, I think a list of what they are, from what type they are. Yeah. It's all down there. And they get the pick of from three of them. What is our mayor? Okay, they're just uh, forbidding the export of greaves. Well, Festian, you have a throne room, a great bedroom, and a great dining room. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. So far, that one side hasn't died yet. Yeah, so far, thankfully, I haven't had the game crash from this. You should save. I did. Okay. When it was vaguely finished? No, when it was actually finished. Okay. I'll put random structures in it. Bit other things in there to see if it behaves itself when you put down a piece of furniture. Uh, what is you can pick one more? Yeah, you get three of them. You can pick up the Three. There we go. I don't believe Alchemist is actually used. Yeah, there are a lot to choose from, but I don't think that Alchemist is one that's actually used. That looks like a carpenter ant. The picture reference they have. Yeah. Means you have two things. <laughs> the turbine article. Research is underway on the easiest way to weaponize these wood-eating fiends as an assault force against elven forest retreats. <laughs> 
Oh, I love the Dwarf Fortress wiki. <laughs> it's so Super much dwarf. fun. <laughs> we'll keep that open. We can close this. Let me ch uh, check and see if alchemy is actually used or not. Yeah, the alchemist skill does not currently have any use in Dwarf Fortress. As of right now. And same thing of having no therapists in Dwarf Fortress either. Apparently it was originally included in the game uh, as in alongside the alchemist laboratory for making soap. But sadly they didn't use them. <clears throat> oh well. Well, the skill is probably going to come back. Um, as far as Mace Man goes, yeah, we can do that. So, let's go ahead and save the game. Open up Notepad. Put in an easy, uh, animal person. Wolfman! And you want... Armorsmith, Weaponsmith... We've got so many people that do that. Yeah. That's why I had, like, like kind of a variant of multiple different things. And I think, you like, sure? one of the... I think they're... I mean, if you want to change it, I won't say no. But... Fine. Uh, are you replacing? What are you replacing? Just, just give me a list of three of them that you want to do. Nothing's wrong with uh, you've first. listed five different skills here, so I don't know which ones you're doing. <laughs> I think the mace man will be fine because there's nothing's wrong with people that are able to fight, uh, defend themselves. So. Oh yeah, I'll be doing. I can do that. That's fine. This the other two. We have a lot of smiths. For my knowledge, am I correct? Yeah, we do have a lot of Smiths. Oh, okay. That will work. So, trapping. Ambush. Or sneak. Now, uh, ranged combat is that different from crossbow? Archer is archer. I think they use there's bow people and then there's crossbow. Am I correct? Well, I'll either do crossbow or the uh, ranged com or the archer one. Because dwarves can't actually make bows or arrows. Mm, yeah, one second. Okay, archer is associated with all ranged combat. So, yeah, that's good. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to be like, and you can't actually use it because reasons.
Well, that crashed the game. <laughs> no worries. It happens. Someone decided to want to yell at me. Why? Oh, because of I tend to like to be cooler than everyone else in the house. And they don't like the air thing on. Oh. And I with my mother with my brother. It's not your fault, Drogon. It's just the game itself. Don't worry. Alright. And also okay. Sometimes it does that, and I just have to uh, redo it. There you go. You are in the game. Let's unpause, let you move away. You gotta go do something. I am literally waiting for you to move. There we go. Now save again. All right. Hmm, I felt that I'm a warm person. <laughs> That's my, always been my problem. Always been very, very warm. Behaved it this time around. <clears throat> yep. Got it all saved and good to go. Let's go ahead and dump this wood. Dump this wood. And dump this wood. Back underground. We are going to set ourselves up a underground storage. That's actually underneath our, uh... <laughs> that, that is actually underneath my, uh, whatever you call that thing. Condos. Alright, time for Stream Raiders Battle! We just saved, so I won't do it again. Oof, I... we don't have a lot of troops here. <laughs> Even though I put all what I could in there. Yeah, I know. Somehow I managed to put one more than normal, but I don't know how you can do that. What do you mean? I know it just so six, but for some reason, one point, I think I managed to, man I managed to put like seven in there at one point. I have heard it's possible to do seven. I don't know how, but uh, supposedly you have to get the timing really perfect. I think I got lucky one time and I got seven units in there. And it's like, 
And usually I have a hard time paying attention to it. Oh no, it's the spiders. Yeah. Oh, there he goes, everybody. Yep, unfortunately, we have lost this battle. We get uh, we fought pretty well before we all died, though. So. Well, new map. Undead overrun now. All right, back to Dwarf Fortress. Go place your troops. Um, okay, put the armored stuff down. Okay, I'll put that over there. And welcome back, Drogon. You've been seeing this video in the corner of my eyes. It makes me cringe a little bit. And I don't usually like watching those type of videos. What it's video? Funny, oh, it's I watch a lot of food videos and something about this really specific thing doesn't sound very appetizing. A dry aging steak with Nutella around it. What? Nutella dry aging steak with Nutella around it. I don't know what that means. In other words, pretty much a chocolate spread around steak. Hey. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. No, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> but I don't care for steak, period, so. That's fine, I don't either. <laughs> Just noticing that, that it's down there. All right, we need silver doors. Uh, 12 of them. Yeah. Six for each uh, building. Also, we need to glaze our jugs. We made 40 of them. So we'll set an order for 40 to be glazed. of mining dwarves as we should uh, we're also gonna go ahead and mine out these walls to replace them Oh, I think you may have missed the, the A. Martin gif. I did! Others. I am so sorry, Jaffer. I just, like, realized that. I am... Um, Can you give us two of them to make up of it? Well, I gotta make sure Jaffer's actually here. Yeah. Jaffer, you here for your Martin gift finally that I missed? notice it like oh you missed that okay. 
Well, for your 65... Here you are. Even though the blankets are kind of out of season, but still, nothing's wrong with a blanket. The warden's like, okay, I'll groom you too. <gasps> this one's just weird and silly. I'm surprised it's being like being touched on the on the tootsies <laughs> during that process. Look at those beans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will give Jaffer uh, two next time he's around. For now, back to Dwarf Fortress. Um... No, we won't mine out anymore. Though we will mine out the walls so we can replace them. Oh, that's why I'm not getting a price. Because everyone bought them all. Hmm. Bought all of what? <laughs> the throw blankets. <laughs> what throw blankets? Yeah, you have a throw blanket and it's all they're all gone. <laughs> what? I mean your in your merchandise that you have. You have a throw blanket, and they're all gone. They shouldn't be. Yeah, they say they're out of stock. I will have to look into that, because they definitely shouldn't be. Because that's something I would also get, is blankets. At least, like, blankets. Well, I can place a manual order, so, uh... He's like, I was going to look to see what the price of the blanket was, and he's like, wait. <laughs> well, now I'm curious what's going on there, because that sh definitely shouldn't be out of... I mean, they're all made to order, so... Yeah, I know. I was just sitting there like, that's something, because I know it's kind of warm out these right now, but still nothing's wrong with the blanket. Are you looking on Teespring or the ZGF Gaming? ZGF Gaming. Okay. Number the link that it was given over here. On, in chat. I guess those blankets are popular. No, they've almost I've sold almost none of them. Weird. Oh, apparently they discontinued it. Or no. Hmm. Okay, yeah, they did discontinue them. I wonder why. Is there maybe a new blanket? What's the new blanket? Well, that sucks. Oh well. Apparently, now you know they are I... just gone. Means you need to make another type of blanket. 
No, I mean, like, they're not offering blankets at all. Oh. Maybe because it's usually seasonal? It might be a seasonal thing, yeah. I guess you have to wait for September. That's when it starts <clears throat> to get cooler. Or something like that. Maybe they That's might fine. not bring them back at all. It's sad. Because that's something I would actually get as a blanket. Because I don't really care for bags. I don't mind shirts. But I usually like mugs. But I do love blankets. And so does my I cat. I actually have two of those blankets. I, I love them. Also, I know I Teespring like has an option for blankets. I'll have to look into the, uh, more into that. Okay. And also, I know my cat will also love it. Because <laughs> he, when, when he likes my uh, deer blanket that's made of the really soft, plushy material. He likes to knead it. So I usually use it when it's going to be cold and I need to pack him around. I usually put the blanket with him. Um, so he doesn't get cold. Oh yeah, I spoil my cat. I need I to turn of off box select because it doesn't work. We'll do zinc stairs. Why not? We don't really have a use for zinc otherwise. That's why we're taking so long. The game crashed and I didn't turn Fast Dwarf back on. <laughs> I'm just sitting here like, why are they going so slow? Place all those stairs too while we're at it. And now the fun part. Flooring. All right. This I'll do box select with. Um, we should have plenty of schist. If we don't break the game, try to process all this. <laughs> I think we broke the game, guys. Did you break something? Nope, there it goes. Uh, 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 yep, there we are. It didn't have a stroke. Strokes are bad. Even for games. I like the idea of wood around our... Uh, around our uh, farming and food kind of areas. But the problem is having enough of any type of wood. That looks normal, so it doesn't look different. What do you have a lot of? I've got various amounts of multiple different woods, but I don't think we've got enough to do that. Oh, well. Yeah, you can't, can't just grow a certain variant of tree and then cut it down. I know. I wish that would be a feature they added. Maybe someday. Yeah. No, this is quickly deforce everything and definitely make the elves an edge. <clears throat> eh, 
I'll do ortho clays blocks. Why not? That works. I don't like ortho clays for much, but maybe it'll make a nice wall. And you know the le the yellow kind of has a uh, good look for all the dwarves pop in. Poof! They're they're doing work and putting little changes into the floor slowly. Yeah, the orthoclase walls don't look terrible. I can deal with them in this area. Is that the yellow material? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Get our silver pillar that we've been that we started putting in the center of the stairs there. Floor across here, this will be limestone. All the dwarves pop in, a second later, they pop out and new floor is in place. Slowly but surely it is being done. Well, I'll be right back for a quick moment. Wait, glaze matte producing? What do you need for glazing stuff? Let's just open that up so I can get a new page. Ash glaze and tin glaze. Using a bar of ash, okay. So I guess we need to make some ash. So... I don't know what cutting ash glaze is supposed to do, but let's go ahead and make some ash. We'll do 100. Uh, we will make some potash because I know that's going to be needed later. We'll do 50 of that.
I didn't realize that glazing would require that much uh, effort. I just kind of did it thinking, eh, that'll look nice. Or it worked well. I got infinite clay available, so might as well, you know, make clay. I guess but, it takes uh, more process than you thought. Yeah, definitely. Because you need to, the glazing part is just to make it look shiny. Well, it's to make it so it can actually hold liquids as well. Uh-huh. Without glazing, it won't be able to hold anything. Or at least nothing, nothing that I want. Where'd my orthoclase blocks go? There they are. I've got so much orthoclase, I might as well make use of it. Being able to box select and place stuff definitely makes my life much easier. We'll suspend that one, this one, this, this, this one, and this one. So what are you all up to? And just to make some more conversation, uh, in regards to the class for the noble animals, I'm thinking of... Uh, one of my ideas for it would be to make it so they are... Uh, Oh, what's the term I'm looking for? Hmm. Like each class, each actual class, it will give a bonus to them. Like for a fighter, paladin, uh, classes like that, uh, they will get uh, their, uh, they will get uh, access to some stances that they can take. Uh, one will increase their damage to be uh, comparable to a great sword if they've got, you know, a class that normally would have access to a great sword. And then they also would have a defensive stance, which will be, which will add uh, armor classes if they had a shield. So they can either choose to do more damage or have more armor. Just like, you know, a normal uh, paladin or fighter or such. Then there's the magic individuals. Those I ones, think. I'm not sure how to buff them up. Because it requires your health to do most of the things you need to do for it. I'm thinking I might raise it to uh, 25 gold pieces, being able to not do any damage. But I'm not sure if that would be a little too overpowered. Hmm. What do you think? And those of you in chat, what do you guys think? Uh, for those of you that aren't aware, we've we've got a few uh, what are called noble wild uh, noble animals. Uh, they are basically sentient animals that uh, uh, you know they're going to be in the new Sunday game. I've played one before, but 
for me, it was a matter of... Uh, when I was playing it, it was a... Uh, we built it specifically around the Paladin, but now I want to make it more generalized for others that want to use it with different classes. Like Sorcerer or or any of the other that isn't a combat raven, but more of a ranger, rangy slash mad. Yeah. Related. So this one will forbid drinks and prepared food. It's uh. Because they want it fun for people. Uh, but, uh, so the Noble Wild is a book that I got a while ago when a friend was like, I, I won't play unless I can have a uh, play as a feral. I'm like, great, now I gotta figure out how the hell to do that. <laughs> and, and then there's also the other thing I found, but that's okay. The Synthi Wild might be a little easier, but I'm not too sure, but it might be easier for certain creatures, but it's not too sure what the ones that are supposed to be four-legged. There's some creatures when they become noble, they're, or whatever you want to call it, that actually do kind of do have hands. You know, the, uh, the ape and monkey. Yeah, some of those are easier for a person to play as. Uh, but anyways, when a noble animal casts a spell, they actually take health damage because you know they can only they don't exactly have hands to pull out material components uh, and it's only spell out. it's only spells with material components that they have that uh, limitation on uh, this and book also was made for uh, 3.5. So we have to keep that in mind when we're doing stuff. So it's a little dated. It's just a different system. Yeah. I'm not we so need familiar, more rock familiar pots. with any of the old stuff. Uh, so it just needs converted to uh, newer systems. That's really oh. all it is. It also, just remind me, I did a one-off of a uh, of uh, Starfinder. It was actually kind of fun. Some time ago. Oh, great. A miner guild. Okay. What the hell am yeah. I going to put in a miner guild? At least we got another space for uh, guild already. Hope for good to do okay <clears throat> in our um, uh, combat related to our um, um, what is it? The st stream raider. There's not very many of us. Yeah, that happens sometimes. And there's a lot of things there. In specific, there's 14. <sighs> I guess I'll look into the blanky blanket stuff later, I guess. Uh, yeah, those will have to come uh, a little later. Which is fine. Who doesn't want to be snuggled by your presence on a blanket? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you have to go and put it like that? I know. Okay, that sounds wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> God. <laughs> That was very bad. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> and I feel bad. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna make some rock statues. Four of them. They will be made out of... Um, Micah. Well, no. We'll do Jet. Also, the, th the fun problem of not eating the uh, cool ranch Doritos because my mom and my brother don't like them. He's like, but she likes the other stuff in it, except the Cool Ranch for some reason. It's like, uh, I know someone who might want those. <laughs> mm, creature... Dwarf. Yes, there's random four Cool Ranch Doritos unwanted. Hey there, Fox Kent. Uh, give me just one moment. Yeah, that'll work. All right, let's save. And go do our Stream Raiders battle as well as show the Martin GIF. We'll start with the uh, Stream Raiders battle. Well, we managed to pull out a victory. A friendly Festian, have... we have... You had max troops and most kills. I had most assists, but I go to the next, which would be you, Festian. So, there you go. And that's it for what I give out for crowns. The Barbarian Scroll goes to the Friendly Festian. All right, next battle is up. Go place your troops. I'll bring my Musketeer. And now the Martin GIF. Before I forget again. Or I'm gonna have to boot you on the nose. 49. Oh, I didn't realize this one had music with it. <laughs> It's not very good music. We're just gonna mute it. <laughs> That's fine. Look at that thing just being silly. <laughs> Do go check out the Russian Sable. Uh, TikTok, Instagram, they are on a few different places. Uh, that's where a lot of these uh, gifts come from. Uh, the uh, Russian Sable channel is Nomura. Uh, Nomura's a silly little, uh, Martin. And again, they all are. Yes. And fuzzy and cute. Yes. Alright. 
Now back to... Wrong one. Back to... Dwarf Fortress. If I could have managed to stop hiding the wrong things. First I hide the timer on the Stream Raiders, then I hide the Pokemon. When I'm trying to hide just Stream Raiders. Ah. Okay, back to this. Now, is this the one where I actually built the... Okay, I did build them, but I never actually placed the silver pedestals. Uh, it's actually the pred- uh... RimWorld was actually inspired by Dwarf Fortress. Uh, it is somewhat complicated, but I would be happy to uh, give a to do another uh, tutorial stream of it, uh, or you can just go look at it on the uh, YouTube channel. Either way. Let's get some bracelets in there. Uh... A figurine in that one. We'll go ahead and put a figurine in this one as well because it's... Oh, hey! There's a muscle shell figurine that was made of Festian. It's a masterpiece one, too. Uh, let's see... I believe that goblets are actually made with, uh, are actually, uh, whatever you call them, products of crafts dwarves. We have no scepters. Well, we've got several muscle shell rings. And I'd say that's good enough for uh, what we display. Yeah, do exclamation point YouTube and it'll link the uh, YouTube channel. And there is a... Uh, I, I know, I saw that. I, I was uh, using the... I was uh, setting that up still. Um, yeah, you do exclamation point YouTube in the chat and it'll link you to the uh, YouTube channel. And then there is a playlist specifically for the tutorial playthrough. Uh, Burzu, I am using uh, the Meph Plus Vordak uh, texture pack. And we've got another Martin GIF number five. One of the cutest ones. There you go. He is long. <laughs> All right.
Alright, number six now. There you go. <laughs> oh, these are adorable. I want one so bad. There, I'm done munching on chips. <laughs> All right, back to Dwarf Fortress. All right. So the furniture should be done. So we can go place that in our new guild hall. Are you sure you're done munching? <laughs> drinking my drink that I tend to... Well, I don't like drinking very often. It's these little Capri Suns. They're so noisy when you drink them. Ah. Because my mother really just wanted me to just have... I wanted to get a V8 because I know that's not noisy when drinking that. <laughs> Other than the little pop noise, but usually you don't have to hear that when I do that. Yeah. Alright, we've got a bunch of extra green glass tables and chairs and stuff. Let's put them to use. And I forgot that this is the playthrough where things got reset and we lost uh, some of our work because of a crash. So let's place these in here. And then table, 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 table. Yeah, could you mute yourself when you're drinking? <laughs> Not that stupid. Okay, I'm actually done drinking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> uh, we'll give our uh, some of our nobles. Uh, it was glass cherry furniture. flavor. How do you feel about Capri Suns? They're tasty. Just never enough. Yeah, I know. They're tiny little things. I think it's because they were meant for kids. But us adults like drinking them, too. Because we have our kids at heart. But you wish they were bigger. All right, our extra doors are finished, so we can finish placing our doors up here. But yeah, uh, RimWorld was very much inspired by Dwarf Fortress. And Dwarf Fortress is free, everyone. Just so you all know. Uh, there is a Steam version with actual graphics, that, like official graphics that is coming. Uh, that one will not be free. But even still... Uh, it's not that, I don't anticipate it being that expensive, but even when the free version or the Steam version does come, 
uh, they will still have and update the original one. How did I wind up making so many extra statues? Uh, okay, that is a jet statue. And stick some statues in here. I guess I might as well use these uh, extra statues since I got them. I didn't realize I made extras, but... If you got it, use it. Hmm. I don't think this is an RTS game. I think it's more of a... What is it? Experience? Is this what many people say it is? Hey there, Squirrel Sulu. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy this game. Uh, I, I enjoy strategy games as a whole. Uh... Warcraft 3, I was not happy with some of the things that Blizzard pulled with it. But even still, I had a fun time playing the remaster. Alright. Minor Guild. Called the Pointy Crevices. Pointy. I don't know. That's what they decided to call it. The silly and random generated things. <clears throat> so how are ya, Squirrel Thulu? We'll assign one of our peasants to be the tavern keeper. Peasants are basically not very good for much of anything. <laughs> so you might as well uh, use them, you know? They can slowly practice and... and uh, Sharp Chris, what do you mean by that? Uh, I'm not sure what you mean by my layout. Oh, sure. Okay, yeah, a tour. I thought you were talking about the stream itself. I'm like, what am I going to explain on that? I, I got no idea. <laughs> Give me just one moment, though. Uh, yeah, I'll get that in a moment here. Well, I guess I'll go do it now. All right, so this particular fort is an above-ground one. Uh, I decided I wanted to try something different and went with a massive tower. Uh, I do have a few spin-off buildings, as you can see. Uh, these four are for our nobles' quarters. Uh, there's two in each of these uh, little towers here. And then we got our luxury condos right next to the lake. Uh, that's where all of the bedrooms for our dwarves are. Of course, we've got our trading depot down here. Uh, the only access to our fortress is through these three uh, gates. Uh, everything else is above, like, the access to these buildings is above, uh, up in the air through a bridge. Uh, but yeah, we've got this floor that I've been planning to turn into fortifications for shooting down at, 
uh, any attackers. We haven't had any yet. I'm surprised. Um, yeah, I'm surprised too. Uh, but yeah, here we've got our tavern. Uh, I still have not gotten around to setting up the other row of tables and chairs, but oh well. I don't think I ever will, really. I think we're good on those uh, on that number of tables and such. Uh, here we have our kitchens and our main stockpile for foodstuffs. Uh, we've got a line in the middle, a little cross, which is all prepared food. And then we got unprepared, unprepared food, drinks, and drinks. And of course, you know, two stills, a kitchen, and a fishery. Even though for some reason the game says I've there's no fish to catch anymore. I don't know why. But here is our workshops. Uh, we've got plenty of them. And still some extra spots to fill at some point. Uh, up here is our... Uh, it's really become our overflow storage. Uh, this basically allows almost everything. Most of our storage is, is at underground. Just because I needed a large space and I didn't want to have to build that above ground. So we went with this route. Uh, these are two of our guild halls. Uh, this one is for farming. Uh, and then this one, you know, it's doctors and I combined the, uh, uh, combined it with our hospital. Uh, this is our main, uh, one of our temples that was actually requested. Uh, I've got space for another temple up here if somebody requests one to a specific deity. Uh, we do have a temple for, uh, general worship underground. Uh, where we have our graves at. Uh, here is another of our guild halls. Uh, two more. This one we just set up. It's for miners. Uh, this one is for crafts dwarves. And then there's the roof. Uh, the plan is to just keep building it taller and taller. Now for underground stuff, oh yeah, down here we also have some above ground farms um, for, you know, plants that need sunlight. Uh, down below we've got our plants that don't need sunlight, uh, as well as some overflow storage for foodstuffs. Uh, these are all, this stockpile is for drinks, this one is for prepared food, and then this one is for unprepared food. Uh, going further down, we've got our uh, pen, our pasture. Uh, I just like to have them all down there. It's just easier that way. And then some strip mining. Uh, this is our underground general worship uh, temple uh, as well as our you know grave site <laughs> uh, this is where our tombs are uh, this is our main storage it's all separated and sorted uh, into multiple different stockpiles uh, we really need more bins can never manage to have enough bins. Now, uh, before I get distracted, let's make some more wooden bins. Uh, more strip mining. Uh, most of our fort is uh, strip mining. What is this? So I guess when uh, Gorlax, whatever those are, die, they uh, have a texture of a cage for some reason. Anyways, so going further down, uh, you got all of the caverns. We haven't really touched these. 
mostly because we keep getting, like, we are two years into this fort, and we have had at least ten uh, Forgotten Beasts show up. And so I'm just kind of like, I I I'm not going to mess with all that. Uh, but yeah, we got more strip mining, and then here are our magma forges. Well, magma forges, smelters, uh, glass furnaces, and kilns. And down here is, you know, lava for the magma forges. And that's really it. It feels like I've done a lot more, but... I guess not. <laughs> All right, let's uh, come down here. I want to get an idea of what deities we have in the world. So that way I can make statues to each one down here in the uh, general worship one. So there's back it. We got 17 worshippers for that one. We'll go ahead and make a note here. There is Cometh, the Fair Humility. You know, these are a lot of deities. I think I'm just going to do a few. Oh, Comnith, the fair, yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> Zizkun. Aran. We have a lot of worshippers of this one, Thethris. Uh, we ha that's the one temple that we actually have. <laughs> oh, so there's worshippers of literally just the dead. I nod. Uh, we'll do one of Kethel. All right. Silver statue. Filter. We're going to do this for... Another silver statue, one. I nod. I'm assuming it is... This one down here. There are a lot of dwarves named I Inod. Holy crap. The dead. Oh, I guess their official name is Nokor. Why 
Why did I do a door? Silver statue. One. He ran. Uh... So I guess there are two uh, different deities named Aran. I'm thinking it's this one that we actually have worshippers for. But yeah, we want to get it. I want to get it upgraded to a temple complex, which is why I'm. Uh... Usually they named it after the users, anyways. Wait, what? Oh, that's a thing. That's kind of answering the question that was in chat. When they get a uh, character, usually they're named after the person that wants them. Oh, Unless yeah. A... Unless they get an extra one. Uh, speaking of, for those of you that are new, you can use the Twitch channel points to actually uh, have a uh, an animal person... Uh, be spawned in for you. So now we've got seven of them. How do I manage what a temple is set to? that one yeah we're doing all right here I think um Okay, so I have to add a new location in order to actually see what deities there are. Not too thrilled about that. Let's find one with a bunch of worshippers. There's literally a deity of jealousy. Really? <laughs> well, I guess we can do a, uh... Well, no. We'll do Deg. Deg for our last one that gets a statue. we go. Remove that zone. Oh, okay, that's what that was. Uh... 
I don't think this one is actually a, uh, yeah, these aren't actually associated with any, uh, deities. Hopefully no gods curse us for, uh, removing those. Okay, doesn't look like they did. <laughs> We'll go ahead and make our uh, tavern nicer with those two extra statues. Who is Udil? Is that one of the uh, deities? I don't remember. All right, let's go do our Stream Raiders battle. And whoosh. Oh, Start the battle. What? What do you mean an error occurred? Okay, let's uh, restart this. Timely reappearance. The dungeon awaits. X Crossing! Thank you very much for that resub! Eight months! Man, thank you so much for all of this support. Well, guys, I don't know what's going on with Stream Raiders right now. I guess we'll try again in a few minutes. How are you doing today, uh, X-Crossing? By the way, you haven't been here for my new graphics, have you? You just saw my, uh, stinger. Well, pay attention to the screen. So here you you've got the uh, stinger, the transition thing. Uh, we got a new streaming uh, starting soon screen here. Oh yeah, the friendly Festian is the one in the call. Uh, we've got a new ending screen. I'm just snacking, and I don't think anyone wants to hear me doing that. No, we don't. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and then a new intermission screen. Or loud slurping. Yeah, please no. <laughs> yeah, we're finally more professional. More legit. Oh. I like them all. Hmm. You know, kind of the tavern feel is what I was going for. Taking a break in the storeroom and... That might be what's going on. Uh, we'll give it a couple of moments and then try again. Oh. Oh, uh, what? The graphics changed when it updated. Oh, they started the event finally. That's maybe why it was having a moment. Probably. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what it's maybe why. Yeah, it hasn't popped up that there's an update for me yet. Hmm. There we go. So now the assaulted pra praises is a temple complex. Worshipping no particular deity. All right. We're going to remove that. Oh, right. We need an ashery to make ash. Derp. Yeah, you need that to make the glaze so it can keep liquids in it. I know. I just uh, didn't, I, I forgot to actually build a uh, ashery. Now I do have an ashery. Hmm. Oh, wait. I know what I'm missing. A wood furnace. Oh, yeah, the birdie thing to make the ash. That's maybe why it's being a dirt, because it wants it to be updated, and it some reason won't let you do the normal game because of it. Hmm. I'll give it a moment right. here, and then I will do the air check for an update. And they're probably just taking a moment to, you know, feed out the update. That's fine. This is me. Shake. Suddenly, nothing's working. Oh, wait, that's why. Because maybe update. It's in this. Oh. Alright, we are just going to leave it on two people doing all that. Uh, rock pot. Let's do another hundred of them. And we got tons of schist. So we're going to make those out of that. <clears throat> I'm using an actual program. Uh, there's a downloadable program for streamers to use. Ah, there's the update. Yes, update. Install. All right, it's loading up now. Let's see if it'll let me run it. 
Oh, hey, a new loading screen. Awakening limited time event ends in 19 days. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring it up on screen. There it goes. Higher leaderboard ranking means more tokens? Boss battles equal more tokens. The Awakening tokens unlock rewards. So it looks like we'll be able to upgrade our Legendary Mages and Templars, as well as Balloon Busters. Of course, there's badges. There's always badges. You guys could uh, buy the Battle Pass. As far as I understand it, I get that by default. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is definitely different. Um, so getting to those bosses are, is going to be quite a bit of work. <clears throat> I kind of like it, but at the same time, you know, trying to get to a boss is going to be difficult. And apparently it means that our previous battle doesn't exist anymore. Also, it is stuck forever loading. This is why I wanted to give it more time. Okay. Seems like it's been a potato. Or not very friendly right now. Need to update stuff. I don't know if we've got enough time to get through these 11 different maps. Uh. Okay, it looks like there's several people that are stuck on loading. Yeah, they're looking into the loading issues, uh, so looks like it's just broken for right now. I'm just going to close it and we'll try it, uh, well, we'll give them about 15, we'll give them till the top of the hour, basically. Alright, now we're making ash.
Probably should make some charcoal as well. Okay. I don't have any cabinets, so we'll do... A silver cabinet one. I know that the person I'm giving these rooms to will want chests. At least two. Actually, I guess I should go ahead and assign the captain of the guard. And see exactly what they'd require. We need a leader. Hey there, Ericlast. <clears throat> Somebody spawn in a character to become our captain of the guard. You're going to need to have a leadership as one of your uh, skills. Uh, anyone can spawn in another character, by the way. There's no limit on how many you can have in this, in Dwarf Fortress. Just if you have more than one, let me know the name you want for them. You know, I'm considering uh, dismantling these extra gates. Cool, I satisfied the mayor's mandate for an extra grieve. You know what, since I need a captain of the guard, go ahead and spawn, or just somebody, you don't have to redeem it, just, uh, let me know what you want. I'll spawn it in. It'll be a free spawn for, you know, somebody that doesn't already have one. So, like, Fox Kent, uh... Eric Last, one of you... I know there was, uh... Zafosk in here. Just a free spawn. You know. Uh, plant that. Uh, you just tell me what you want. Uh, do exclamation point dwarf races and exclamation point dwarf skills. You get two skills to choose from because one of them I'm making be a, uh, uh, one of them is going to be, um, whatever you call that thing. You know, I think I'm going to split these farms into multiple. Let's remove that one. Yeah, I know, Fox Kent. Uh, I'll go ahead and just let you uh, have a free one as well. Since, you know, you've been coming by for a while. Zafosk, if you're here, you can have one as well. So, just put in one message. What race, gender, and pick three skills. Uh that you want uh one of you 
I will be making the uh, captain of the guard, so leadership is one that will be required for them. Okay, why is this farm not getting removed? I know we got plenty of farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Ba da da ba da ba da da ba. <clears throat> ah, perfect. We'll do a walkway across here. Academia would. And we are going to temporarily remove both of these. Oh, I guess all wood looks the same. Okay. Uh, yes, it is, Foxkin. Well, it's a remix of that, but yes. For spring, alfalfa, summer, blood amaranth, autumn, cucumber vines, winter, horned melon vines. Lesser yam. Longland grass? I don't even know what that's used for. But we'll farm it anyways. Just pick what you want, Fox Kent. But you gotta pick something or else I can't spawn something in for you. Well, yeah, I was planning to name him after you. Your first character always has to be named after you. 
Beyond that, I don't really care that much, but... Alright, a badger man. We need to save this. Let me just double check the... Alright, so it is Badger Man. Cool. Sometimes the Raws surprise me. Leadership. And I will give you an extra high leadership. Not terribly high, but high. Wrestling. And you want kicker. Stance strike. Unpause. Come here and do that. Uh oh. Badger Man may not be valid. Can we try one more possible method? Yeah, unfortunately, Badger Man, for some reason, is not working. So I'll need you to check, uh... Uh, that is correct, Fox Kent. Alchemist is not used in-game. So, literally, it's a skill that, you know, if I were to give that to you, it would have no purpose. Sorry, Eraclast. Uh, you'll have to pick a different one. I don't know why the Badger Man is set up different from every other. I know that there's a few of them that are like that. That is a terrifying thing for a beaver person. Basically, you guys gotta go to the Raws on their page, hit show. And if it's got that underscore or no space, basically... Actually, let me try it another way. Maybe it'll work with this. Aha! Never mind, Eraclast. It works. I just had to do it a different way that I didn't think about doing. Alright, wait for you to move. Register that you're alive. There we go. And save. While we're saving, let's check on Stream Raiders.
Alright, as of a few minutes ago, it looks like they are still looking into it. That sucks. Ba -bum. All right. All right, I gotta do that. You require an office, quarters, dining room. You don't have any particular quality requirements on those. And you only require one weapon rack and an armor stand. For some reason, I thought they required more. Actually, did we get our cabinet? Ah, we did. Excellent. What about armor stand? No armor stands, no weapon racks. We do have several chests, but do we have silver ones? Because I'm not talking to you, Alexa! Wake up. No sleeping in the call. I was looking in, like, some art stuff, but that's okay. I bet you have your own artist that, that you like. What do you mean? I'm just boredly looking for art for my own things, because I don't have very many things for certain characters that I would love to have art for. That's okay, though. Uh, Zafosk, you need one more. Auto assign to them. And also, I need you to verify whether you want it male or female, please. Okay, the armor stand and weapon rack aren't done yet. Somebody is throwing a tantrum now. And apparently Crystal is currently drinking straight out of the barrel. Okay. And assign that to the captain of the guard. There we go. Now you are satisfied as a captain of the guard. I still don't know the purpose of this dungeon master, but it's supposed to just show up on their own. All right, we'll do, Zafosk. So, Eagle. Some Eagle men's musicians will occasionally sing songs about a strange inn that travelers can exit anytime they like but they can never truly leave. Such songs are always accompanied by a two-minute solo on a stringed instrument. I don't know the reference there. Is, 
Is it referring to the Eagles? Oh! Hotel California. Yeah. <laughs> Hotel California. Hey there, Wolfab and Wired. How are you both doing? I'm doing pretty well. Just drop, thank you for that. I'm not the greatest at knowing uh, music. All right. Eagle man, let's get this saved while we are doing this. All right. Weapon. Smith. Forge weapon. Why have you been stressed? Uh, striker. And then sword. Pretty sure it's just sword. Yeah. And their nickname is Zafosk. Space engineers is kind of fun. Because I don't trust myself driving these ships up that crash cement. There we go, and Zafosk is in the game. Because I'm not coordinated enough to play that type of game. I can do basic things like moving around as my person and build base stuff, but I don't think I can drive anything. <sighs> oh, this is uh, free from plants. Let's remove it. Save again because the Fosk has moved. I always, I've always thought that uh, Space Engineers might be a game I'd enjoy, but I've just never gotten into it for, I've never really tried it much. I tried it. It was just kind of boring by yourself, though. Uh, what's giving you uh, writer's block on it, Wolfab? Well, then, perhaps for the next uh, community game night, you guys could suggest that we play Space Engineers. Okay, that would be fun. I barely basically understand the basics of it and people want me to do mods and they make it more confusing. And I only barely have eight gigs of RAM and that thing likes to chew on that. Just like Minecraft. So. There's also a tutorial mission, for my knowledge. I still get confused, because they throw you in space, and that's when I have problems. No, no it isn't. That's just... And I'm just waiting for my fees to be paid for before I try to buy anything, because I just realized I've been needing RAM for a while. Uh, we would probably just do a vanilla one because I'm new and I know, and we'd, I'd rather, I usually start with vanilla, play for it's one session, and then I start throwing in mods. Uh-oh. 
That brought uh, Gaming Fury out. I don't know about this. Time to space together and see what happens. Hmm. And too bad you don't have the way to get modifications of your skin to make you look like something else other than a human. I wonder if there is a mod for that. That might be fine. There probably is. Alright, prickleberries, purple yam, ratweed, and red spinach. We've got some uh, alfalfa seeds now, but I don't know if any... Okay, that one's set to grow it in the spring. Cool! My nose is wanting to do something where I need to mute myself, but it tricked me. Um... I'm not giving you Alchemist because it, like I said, it has no purpose in the game. It is an empty, unused uh, skill. And for all I know, it might break it. Is that I a thing? Tinker. I might tempt the team Oh, I guess it is. You do what? I'm gonna tinker around in space in two years because I was inspired to do so. No. I'm not very good at it. No. Alright guys, give me a moment. I'm gonna spawn this in. Let's see. Fox Kent? You want to be a fox man? Uh, chemistry... Astronomy and military tactics. Yeah, things are on sale. What wire? What wired? <laughs> well, what is going on here? I actually can afford all of that. Uh. Well, Fab, what I usually do when I am world building is I will uh, set up the... I, I will make, you know, jot down notes of uh, all, all of my thoughts on it. And then I will move on to actually connecting them together. Uh, because, you know, you don't really need to actually have them connected. It's The important thing is to start writing. Start putting it down. Start writing it. Start putting it together. And then, after it's all together, uh, what you do have, that is, then you can start uh, expanding on it, connecting the dots together, making it all work and fit together. Oh, interesting, Gaming Furry. 
I did not know that. So it's another of those games that get really uh, in-depth. Usually it does. It's just sometimes it's very derpy when you try to fly. <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing. All right, so the, uh, we have everything uh, set up. We've, we've got our three new animal people in the game. I suppose we shall assign, well, we got a captain of the guard, so we will make Fox Kent our militia commander. You don't actually have any requirements, but I will give you a nice bedroom and stuff anyways. Mostly because I've got extra stuff that I want to be rid of. Can I make at least one more green glass table? Please let me have enough for that because I don't want to mix and match furniture. Silver table, one. Silver throne, one. Uh, we will need a silver cabinet. And that is it. Cool. Oh, even that game's on sale. Even though it just came out, it's on sale. Welcome to Steam. <laughs> like, it's like less, it's five dollars cheaper than originally it was supposed to be. I mean, like five dollars is uh, better than nothing off. Yeah. That one only gives you, like, not very much either. That one saves you a whole ten bucks and fifty cents on that game. Showing right there. All right. Let's carve these fortifications. Hmm. Sounds like a tinkering fun time. Then something explodes. As a clang. Uh, can glaze jug? So have we glazed all of our jugs? Or something? Mm -hmm. I, I don't understand. They're all glazed? I guess so. So you can put liquids in them now. Maybe? Hopeful. Shut up and take my money! You know, I actually do have that uh, sound effect on the channel. It's just exclamation point, take my money. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of sales right now because of the summer stuff. I think it ends the seventh. I can't remember. Uh, we'll make some copper chests for our militia commander. Shut up and take my money. Yeah, see. Build a table. Oh, cool. They did build the, uh, they did have enough glass to make that table. Excellent. Yes, clang. I know what clang is because I watch a lot of people play in the game. 
Hopper, armor stand, and Wonderful spasm and an explosion. And death. Yes. Fox can. There you go. Playing scary. <laughs> it's a kind of. I, I, I have I no it, idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> it's related to. It's a name they gave when it starts to glitch so badly where it spazzes out and causes things to explode. In space, Asian, they not space. Yeah, space engineers. It's a weird glitch that occurs on occasions with certain things that are superly unpleasant. Space. And you get a private dining room, mostly because I'm looking for excuses to, you know. Have these brooms. <laughs> also, it frees up the uh, other locations for normal individuals to have rooms. Yeah, that too. But like the dining room and stuff, uh, they don't really require it, but I do it anyways. For some reason, yeah. everything copper with this texture pack, they have apparently decided that copper means it must look like a gear. Even the chest looks like it's got gears on the top of it. Hmm. it is a pattern of style they want to have, then that's up to them. I agree on that point, but still. It's like copper like just... It makes copper not match anything else. Because of that. But it has no steam, it's just a chest with markings of gears all over it. Alright, I'm gonna come down oh, here. To to full screen. Remove this bridge. I forgot I need to put this game in a window. Huh? Oh, my other game. The game I did by Space Engineers. Huh? <laughs> it's in the win- uh, It's in- the Is it in the window and it took over my monitor where I'm using it on where I can't get out of it. Oh. Huh? Full screen. What about it? And sometimes some games won't let me tab out of it without it having a stroke. Anyways, but not off, not as. And why does it look terrible? How big did I make this? Nine. All right. We need to chop some trees. Why do you not chop? Okay, fine. There. All the trees. Sorry. Now, I want to make sure that we can fit quite a few bedrooms into this area. It's 
Whiskies. I have random stuff in my inventory. For instance. Oh. So, it doesn't look like I made it across far enough. Well, actually, I'll probably just do the 2 by 3 just like on the other side. Oh, yeah, that'll yeah. work. I have a lot of things that are moo pattern. <clears throat> that word's cow pattern. So this particular extension of the gray of the Grand Tower is going to be for military on the bottom few floors, uh, the barracks, the training, etc. And then on the upper floors is where we will have uh, room for uh, tavern bedrooms, basically. So right there, then the wall, space for two, another wall, one, two, three. So we need to extend this a little further. So that is good to go. That is a total of 10. All right. There we go. Our dwarves can get to work now. Camouflage? What? I have it for my blocks. I have it for my, um, I think two of my items. I think a gun and a, a tool. I don't remember which one. There, yes, there's like random things that spawn in the game where it gives you different skins for free that are random. Oh, there's another I'm... tree that will get in the way over here. Problem solved. There it is. So did they there's... absolutely did they actually cancel the construction of these? Okay, there's still walls. Oh, it's probably pointing to those ones for some reason. Okay. There we go. <laughs> now we will build a paved road going up into this. And have zinc bars for this road. Another paved road here. Made out of lead. And then silver on the sides. Silver balls, silver balls. They are so pretty when built. And I'm going to actually build a uh, copper road just to see what it looks like. If it looks like gears, then I won't be using a uh, plan that I have for the outside part. Oh, it looks like uh, steel flooring. Okay, never mind.
Okay, I am completely confused by what you guys are talking about in chat right now. <laughs> I'm absolutely confused. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I thoroughly disagree, madame. <laughs> or, that was, well, there's the way, you, pretty much a, something that's glitchy that can move if you get unlimited amount of time. Speed. <laughs> Alright, uh... We're gonna go for some zinc doors. Four of them. Guys, you're hurting my head very thoroughly. Also, I know I don't see this very often, but I, I'm going to remove this bridge anyways and replace it. Uh, look away if you need to. Fox hint, all right. <laughs> Computer. Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. I like having my Alexa here. Makes life much easier. Downstair here. Oh, yay! Another forgotten beast. A huge, hairy, eight legged frog. It squirms and fidgets. Its gray hair is short and even. Beware its webs. <laughs> bum ba da dum ba da ba da ba ba da Having fun. <laughs> all right, we're going to do lead bar floor all the way up through here because we've got plenty of lead. We won't do this on every floor, just this first one. We'll come back to the silver ones, though. Well, no, we'll go ahead and do silver floor on here as well. Uh... Ah. 
And then the rest of this flooring will be a uh, completely different design. Now, with one of our freaking uh, masons, go remove that, please. As soon as I disabled that job, they probably... Uh, <sighs> Retry. <laughs> you guys are quite creative with some of those uh, emotes. I gotta give you props where props are due. Cat, why are you up there? Uh. All right, DVD. All right, e mode only mode is over. Be free from the re restrictions. Speak. Share with me your thoughts. Unless they have to do with Clang. Whatever the hell that is. <laughs> oh my god. Were you waiting this entire time just to say that, Fox Kent? Uh, I don't know why that was held back. Is that something I should be concerned about? So should I not have uh, permitted that? I legitimately have no clue. Some days I feel old when I've got no idea what people are talking about. Oh no, I allowed it, Zafosk. Because I didn't know if it was... I, as far as I know, it's nothing wrong. And I would hope Wired didn't put something in that might get me banned for some reason. Okay, so I cannot put a bridge over top of that space. We cannot do a paved road out here. Ugh! Hmm, can I do a uh, paved road over a flooring? 
Ah, I can. Cool. So then... Let's start with flooring out here. Actually, we will uh, cancel all that. Uh, let's see how a zinc bridge looks. I don't like that. How about... Uh... How about a copper bridge? Meh. We'll just do lead. I'm good with lead bridges. Realistically, I have no idea how they'd be able to be raised, but, you know, they do, they are able to be raised. Actually, I don't like that either. <laughs> Maybe I'll do a couple of bridges. No, I really don't want to go through all that extra effort. We'll just do iron bars. It's not too offensive. And it feels much more safe and secure. Ba -da -da -ba 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 -da. Paved road to this one out of silver. Actually, out here, we'll go ahead and simplify it. Just one design instead of the fancy pattern that's inside the uh, base itself. Yeah, Festian, generally not a good idea. <laughs> we'll do lead out here. And we will be doing two, just two sections of it. Alright, floor. We're gonna need floor over this uh, area. But we'll just make it out of schist blocks. Welcome back. Everything just froze. <laughs> like, well, kind of. I really restart my computer because <laughs> I can get it out of that situation. Oh well. <sighs> yeah, that's what I plan on doing. I think it, it seems that I know what I need to use my extra money for. <laughs> if I have any. This ram. Makes perfect sense. Yeah, like Zafos said, just uh, download more RAM. You'll be good to go then. Like 
guess that's my uh, pro limiting factor with space it's engineers. It's always been RAM. I can do Minecraft to a certain point, but it's, it does have its limitations just with RAM as well. Because I have the graphics, but not the RAM to do some games. Yeah. That's why, that's why I usually play simpler games or things that are like, well, or do things in something like Fantasy Ground. Like Fortress is very simple. But still has its problems, though. Like well, Dwarf Fortress is more uh, heavily reliant on your uh, CPU. Uh-huh. I have a GPU. And a CPU. Well, I would hope that you have a CPU, at least. Nice. Considering without a CPU, you don't have a computer. <laughs> yeah. My computer's not where I want it yet. That's okay, though. Oh, no! I'm gonna have to deconstruct this and rebuild it. Block is right here. No, oh, it's the one. You said they're critical cute. Oh wait, <laughs> did you get the joke? <laughs> We're just gonna use that mica block right there. Oh wait. Oh okay, yeah, that's okay, still please. broken. I think I have uh, quite a length. I think mine can. I think I have a six core processor. Really good. Like I said, the thing that's only limiting me my like, problems is my RAM. All right. The pause. A, you know, everybody a says something different on that wired. You ask one person and they say that it's all about uh, Intel for single thread. And you go with AMD to... Holy crap, number one. All right. That's what I was making. I was making a joke about being a critical one. It's critical cuteness. It's messing with the cat. The cat doesn't look too happy. Okay, looks like they found the issue. That was about 20 minutes ago. Uh, they haven't uh, announced that there is a update to fix it yet. But yeah, I, I've had people tell me that AMD is good for multi-core threading and intel's best for single uh i've had uh go ahead and re-roll that we already had number five tonight wired <laughs> i know right fox kent the poor cat <laughs> yeah go ahead and re-roll it uh wired we'll do a different one Unless you really want number five. It's still cute. Well, they're all cute. Yes. This is getting pounced on and everything for cat. Well, that works. 82. Oh, this one. She's like, wait, what? And <laughs> <In> Bombay. <laughs> Martin. Homan, you are just stepping stool. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny.
The world and everyone in it is uh, Martin's plaything. Okay, now I gotta play a different one because of what you said, Fox Kent. Or er, Wired. Uh, let me see if I actually have it. I hope I do. As well in controlling someone's mind. That's only certain particular ones. Yes. <laughs> and that's just to have a, uh, you know, a uh, mount to ride on. Ah, here it is. Ba boom. Nothing is safe from the Marden. What? What it find? I think it's an uh, an apple, Fox Kent. Yeah, if you own a Marden, you need to put child safety locks on every cabinet. And also the fridge. I haven't seen them get into a fridge yet. Uh, if they're smart enough to do so, they can, they can nuzzle it open. Oh yeah, they, they probably could figure it out. Because that's where some of the, most some other goodies are at they might like that are in there. I'm just most like, impressed that that Marden is, you know, extending itself to its full height and still able to just absolutely pull itself up, like, no problems. Uh, it's a little harder for that why for them to do that, Wired. Just a little bit. <laughs> Alright. Back to uh, Dwarf Fortress. And you know, we haven't saved in a while, so I'm gonna I should have done that before now. Yeah. I am giving my kitty pets. She is a happy I kitty. I don't know where mine is. Mine comes every time I summon. Yeah, Martins are definitely smart. Definitely. All right. So we've got our nice paved road out here on this side now. We need to connect our bridges up to the lever. Nope, not pull the lever. Link up a bridge. Oh. Like the little ones might have issues, but goldfish are not actually, they actually bring that stuff. The right Actually, we are going to remove this lever. And Replace this down. road. Get it actually covering this area. That was annoying. Okay. 
All right, our depot is still accessible. Perfect. Pull the lever, crunk! Wrong lever! I mean, most animals can be taught that wired. That's why people think it's only the short time out of memory. But, well, some do if they're really tiny. They only have brains, like, barely the size of a pinhead. A little bigger. Because there's, the, like, if their brain is equivalent to almost the size of a tiny, they might have a little bit more function matter in there. Looks like our dwarves in the tavern are doing a little dancing. <laughs> We're in a circle. Well, equivalent to a short circle. Why was that construction suspended? If there's something blocking the site, move it! You are sounding very far away. That's why, because I had my mic up. Oh. There's my schist blocks. And they seem to remember when to go up to the top when they're hungry. When my mom fed them. Because they had... Or no, when she's coming over there, she means food. Otherwise, she's not, they're not really interested to whoever, whoever that goes over there. Oh, hey! We're getting another artifact. Nice. And they've got all the materials they want. Is that a fish in a tree? Quite possibly. I have no idea. <laughs> hmm, I wonder how it got up there. There's just a random copper bolt out here. Uh, we'll dump it. It wasn't claimed, and that's why my dwarves weren't moving it, apparently. I really need a dumping pit. But I'm not sure I want to go through the effort of making one. Hmm. Our miner has created Kudistletlum Karl Usur, a schist statue of Moma's anvil seared. He claims it as an heirloom in the name of the family ancestor Doran Town Crevice. Holy crap! <laughs> Another. <laughs> uh, all of my dwarves are. Oh, all right, Zephos. Have a good night. Only thing that's not related to anything related is any of your animal people so far. Because that's obvious. Oh, it looks like they finally got that arrow out of there. Ah, finally! We're gonna build this damn road. I'm 
Still waiting for that to get removed. Needs mechanics. Where is mechanics? There it is. Okay, we got somebody assigned to it. We'll assign somebody else as well. Because literally all I need them to do is go remove that. There we go. Alright. Lever. You know what? We got this artifact. Uh, we have this artifact. We might as well use it. It's an artifact uh, mechanism, so might as well stick it right here. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, apparently it doesn't actually look fancy at all. Well, let me, uh... Yeah, we'll just go with a regular item for this. Alright. Master work ones. Do we not have any? Well, we got one. We need at least four more. <clears throat> um... We'll come down here. And just make some iron mechanisms. We have to go this route because otherwise... Uh, they will try and not use this, and it just doesn't work. There. That should be plenty of iron mechanisms forever. Uh, Fox Kent, uh, the... Lizard is actually a kobold. Uh, he is the community mascot. Uh, the one on the uh, right hand side, that is my actual persona. Uh, that is a sable roo. Uh, sable kangaroo hybrid. Oh, oh excellent. They're not. Use your super fancy looking. Huh? Avatar, because it looks cute. What? Because the pictures of the one I think you're using for your uh, model. I'm seeing, like the picture of that has the face mask on it. Well, what about it? It's adorable. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely happy with how it came out. The kobold's name is Zrax Garfang. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll use uh, custard apple wood. Why not? And over here. 
stand up here. I am getting a little concerned about the fact that we don't have enough, or that we've run out of fish. I mean, we got plenty of food stores regardless. Uh, lots of drink as well, though we could possibly make some more. <laughs> it's not that hard. Alright, so that one is growing red spinach. So let's go past that. Rice. Rope reed. Rye. And we'll just let it be fallowed in the winter. This one will be fallowed in the spring. Following doesn't really matter at all. It's just, you know. I I just don't have enough uh, variety of plants to bother having anything in there all year round. So, Taro. So, next we're going to do Urad. Watermelon and whip vines in winter. And I'll just pick some random ones here. I like strawberries, so we'll have uh, extra strawberries. And for winter, we'll have rice. There. Let's get that dumped. Hmm, I'm guessing something's still kind of broken. What do you mean? Oh, those graders. I haven't Mistake. checked in a little bit, but... You guys check for me. I mean, if you guys see an update, that means that it is... Uh, that they've managed to fix it. I sadly can't really check it while I'm streaming very easily, so... Bazinga! Uh, look away if you guys need to. Well, I can't get there because it's not letting me get the link. Oh, well then I guess I'll go check it myself. One second. All right, you guys are good to look back. Lead ball. Lead ball. Gaben. And right zinc bar. All hands to battle stations. <laughs> Having fun. I'm going to go ahead and save while I go check for an update on whether they fixed it or not.
Tra la 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 Tra la 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 uh, I have been playing Dwarf Fortress, uh, I want to say it around this, uh, since around this time last year. I unfortunately don't know the words to that, Wired. I wonder if there's a Rick Roll in there. My brain doesn't really remember the rest of it right now. Go around and desert you. I can't remember exactly the... I was trying to look up the video to get the uh, hang of the tune, but I couldn't really. It just takes too long. I don't want to sit here letting you guys. Uh... Brothers of the mine rejoice. Swing, swing, swing with me. You know what? I've already got tons of copyright on this video from uh, playing, you know, uh... Undertale songs, or rather Undertale remixes, so you know what? Why not? Copyright deadlock, here we go. But seriously, give credit to these wonderful guys. The Yogg's cast who made this great song. Uh-huh. Born underground, suckled from the teeth of stone, raised in the dark, the safety of our mountain home, skin made of iron. Steel in our bones to dig and dig makes us free. Come on, brother, sing with me. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole, digging a hole. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole, diggy diggy hole. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole, digging a hole. Ba bum ba ba da da dum, ba bum ba bum ba 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 da dum, ba bum ba bum ba da da dum.
There we go. <laughs> Impromptu singing over. Let's get back to Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right, look away if you need to. I'm going to remove this wall because apparently we've got wood stuck in the wall somehow. What? I don't know. Let's go. The new wall. All right. We made this all out of schist blocks, I believe. Oh, hi, Kitty. I really need to set up, uh... I really need to set up, uh, Twitch Sings again. The only problem there is that a lot of their songs are completely different than what I know. And so it runs into the problem of, I got no idea how the hell to sing their songs. Sorry, I'm social, I'm interacting with my cat. That, that is why are you okay. Doing that? As he also said hello to you by rubbing his face on the microphone. I see. Yes, I, I'll make sure that she gets the uh, message. Uh, Festian, your cat wants more food. I know, but you actually have to ask the other individual. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> and he just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look away if you need to. He is a cutie. And I suppose we might as well, uh... Move this section as well. All right, you're good to look back. Oh, really, Fox Kent? Well, I am happy to have shared such a timeless classic with you. There's a few other ones that are pretty timeless classics, but I can't remember what they are. Oh, you mean the, uh, original version of it? The one he got bored and he just sang it? Yeah. Was... <laughs> I mean, that one's pretty good, too. Then now they made it into a whole... They also have a few other music videos that they have. That... And one of them is How Do You Craft This Again? By, uh... Oh, yeah, I know that one. I'm not going to play that have... because that one is uh, to the tune of uh, Born This Way or something like that. Oh, no. It's a different one I'm thinking of. I was thinking of uh, something else. I don't know. Uh, I can't remember. Are you thinking of uh, Moop White uh, Swagger? I have but no idea. I don't know people. You tell me to try and know somebody, I, I will have no idea who you're talking about. No, no, it's a song by, uh, I think the Maroon 5?
I know you want something, but if you really want something, you do have your munchies out there. Cat. Well, hi there, Furious Hyde. Welcome. How's it going? I think my cat just wants to snuggle with me. It's kind of difficult in the in a chair in this chair versus the one at home. And why is it difficult? There's no arms on this chair. Oh. All right, unpause. Well, hopefully I can help it be a bit better for you, Furious Hyde. I know the world's pretty crazy right now, but uh, you got people here to chat with and stuff. Okay, there was another pop that was outside. It happened also yesterday. A pop? Like, kind of like almost bang into the distance. Huh. Probably a firework. Hmm, was... hope it's a firework. Anyways. Hey, Foofy. Alright. Continue our stairs up over here. A pop. You know, like, like soda. Like a, you know, it's a loud, like, pop sound. Like a kind of rumbly noise. Oh, yeah! Fourth of July is in, like, uh, <laughs> like, three days. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that explains it. Because there's also a baseball stadium not that far away. And so that's maybe where the fireworks are coming from. That too. So that answered my question. But well, I was like, why do I hear that? Wait, it's July. <laughs> All right. We'll just deconstruct the floor as we need to. You're a rock noodle? Well, I am a oh, fuzz God. noodle. Or a tree noodle, whichever you prefer. You also somewhat bouncy. Somewhat. Eh, right, let's get another Martin GIF. Somebody roll a 1d89 for me. While I'm checking on status for stream raiders. As I looked in there and tried to do anything, it says it's waiting for you. Well, that didn't quite work. I mean, well, I guess that does work wired. So we'll go with number 38. Oh, hey. I swear I say that with every gif. <laughs> oh, hey, this one. Alright, no updates on whether they got it fixed. It's reading its newspaper as it eats cre peaches and cream. I just imagine that's your character. Because <laughs> 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 he's intelligent enough to do so. <laughs> well, either way, it worked out because it was under 89, so... 
the peaches and cream. In a pamphlet or something in front of them. Looks like a traveling pamphlet. Enjoying their peaches and cream. And I guess since we did get two rolls, I'll go ahead and play number 66 as well. Yum, 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 yum. This Such one's a small creatures. one, but yeah, they deserve no. to be spoiled. Yes. Oh, you mean yes. like this, Fox Kent? Execute order 66. Just doing parkour. Excellent. All right, number forty-two. Ah, the smartest one. <laughs> Remember, guys, masks are important. Even if he's trying to figure out how to put it on. But he does actually figure it out. Somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> Might need a modified one for this new. Alright, number 69. I guess we're having a whole bunch of fuzzies right now, I guess. Hey, I'm okay with that. That's fine. <laughs> it's a wonderful distraction. Oh, is that two? One looks really tiny, though. That's a cat. Oh, it's a kitty? Yep. They're the same color. That's funny. <laughs> He's like, scoot, 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 I'm not doing anything. <laughs> see, I'm just Very drugged. <laughs> Is it, I think it's trying to see, sneak attack, but it's not doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> He just wants, or she just wants to play. I love the little tail wiggle. And then that sneak attack right at the end. <laughs> I think a dog will understand that they want to play. Cats are kind of finical about wanting to play. Well, now I gotta play another one, Wired. If I actually have that one downloaded. It's probably one of the newer ones if I do. I just keep, I just casually poke my cat. I don't know if I've got that one down. Ah, there it is. I'll wait for this one to finish playing through. I know you're not. This is my decision. At least you can teach them tricks if you want to. Sometimes. If they want to. Yeah, it's really if they want to learn. <laughs> and they, uh, he, he definitely doesn't stay dead for long. Should've gave him a goodie afterwards. <laughs> Alright, back to Dwarf Fortress. I guess the cute invasion's over. But they will be back. Yep, tree noodle. Yeah. 
if it wants to stay there. All right, so we're gonna have two barracks in here. His kitties are so uh, little Martins and anything that wants to, don't usually. There's some animals that would let keep them there. Uh, I know cat. Look too. away for a moment, guys, if you need to. Oops. Also, we are not playing this song because it is sad and slow, and I don't want that right now. I want energy and fun! Okay, you're good to look back now. Skip! Actually, I should add this one to one of the playlists. This one. Alright. We're good. Bum 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 ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba da 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 ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 <laughs> that is great, Wired. <laughs> Suddenly teeth and claws. And then they die. No, don't disappear. It was your neck warmer that uh, comment that got you in here. Or it got that uh, noticed. You know what? I know what we'll do here. Uh... Actually, no, that won't work. Yeah, it will. Look away if you need to. All right. Yeah, that's why I tell you guys to look away if you need to, because unfortunately, it gets very flashy. Uh, basically my version of epilepsy warning. Please be safe. Alright, you're good to look back for now. I'd be right back because I'm going to go take my medication. Okay, dog. Uh, look away again. Sorry, a little late on that one. 
So the best way to set up a... Uh, whatever you call this. Uh, the best way to set up a archery range for practicing that... Oh, is that one not working? Or is it spelled differently for the actual command? Well, the command's working, but apparently the uh, actual sound effect isn't for some reason. Let me go fix it. Uh, I have not, Toshime. Also, hey there, good to see you again. I don't think I've seen you tonight. Alright, let's go fix this. It's definitely not the greatest recording ever, by far. But, there you go. I think it is. I've never really done much with Newsground. Alright, we're gonna put a floor here with schist blocks. Same here. We're gonna put a wall across here. Oh my. So these two rooms on either side will be our training rooms. Uh, these are our uh, spare bolt pickup uh, spaces. Like used bolt ones. Oh my. Those blocks are still up there. Mega blocks. Uh, look away again if you need to. Bacon pancakes, that's what it's going to make, bacon pancakes. I'm not very good at the high notes. Alright, you're good to look back. If you did look away. A bridge across here. Not quite that tall. Mica blocks. <laughs> I would love some bacon pancakes. Fly to Utah and make me bacon pancakes. Ah, uh, 
look away if you need to. one of my dwarves goes outside. Oh good, they were actually smart for a change. <clears throat> All right. Walls across there. Walls across here. Oh my god. Toshime, I completely forgot about the bees. I said that I was I might have gotten distracted from making um but I never expected it to actually happen. <laughs> oh Well Look away if you need to. I know where I'll put our bees at. We're gonna go ahead and remove these walls. And cancel that. We'll replace this bridge with actual flooring. Hello. Hello. Edward, no. Daddy, do you hurt Daddy? Even with all our talent, we can't do anything. And that hits everybody right in the feels. <laughs> Fox Kent has gone silent. <laughs> sorry, Fox Kent, but also not quite sorry. <laughs> Ah, 
There we go. Hi. Uh, let's see what copper hives look like. Hey there, Cece. I completely forgot about the bees. But now I'm fixing that and we're actually setting up a bee farm. I don't know why the game feels the need to move my camera because somebody gives birth to a child. not gonna let me uh there we go good night home run have a great night ba -da -bum, ba -ba -da -ba -da. ba 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 Oh, I know, CC. <laughs> I'm building a giant tower. Well, I'm not very creative with names sometimes, so it's just called the Grand Tower. And while we are at it for, for setting things up for various farming, we might as well go ahead and set up our uh, chicken coops. Ooh, that's a great idea, CC. I'll probably try that, yeah. All right, Festian. Uh, look away if you guys need to. Nah. Alright, you're good to look back. Oh, the elves have arrived. I'll piss them off next time. I'm gonna piss them off eventually just so they'll hopefully attack. But I wanna make sure that I actually do have defenses set up first. Not floor, I want walls. Schist blocks. 
Are these schist blocks? Yes, they are. All right. Hopefully some of them will be grabbed first for some of this construction. Get them off of that frickin' uh, roof. Oh, crap. Look away if you need to again. I messed up. Uh, what do you mean, Festian? Oh, yeah, I know, CC. I do always do that. Uh, what I was saying is the, uh, like, who doesn't like your fort in the dwarf or, or whatever it is? Oh, you I mean, like, like enemies myth. that we have? Yeah. I have no idea. Hmm. Anyways, going back to being cute. <clears throat> it is just about that time for me to end, actually. Unfortunately. I uh, will go a little bit longer, but I'm gonna save and see about loading up Stone Sense. Alright, we have saved it. Let's see, utilities. Uh. Doesn't look like I have stone sense. Oh, wait, here it is. Oh, essence overlay. Alright. I've never used it before. Oh, I guess it's not supported. Uh, I don't understand print mode. Unfortunately, I can't show it off that way. Mica blocks here. Yeah, but I'd have to go and uh, modify it and stuff. Uh, Drogon, uh, I'm pretty sure your wolf guy's still fine. I haven't seen anybody, I haven't seen him go missing or any. Blood man! What the hell are those? Whatever they are, they're dead. Uh. You're currently in the, uh, Farmer's Workshop, or Guild Hall. Um... You got some clothing on you. Apparently you've got a steel crossbow. Not sure where you picked that up from. Uh, 
You're not injured at all, so that's a good thing. Ah, here we go. Apparently, you are interested by a lot of stuff. <laughs> as long as the curiosity doesn't kill them. Holy crap, you're interested by a lot of stuff. All right, so we need, let, let's look up these blood people. It's not on the wiki? Dun, dun, dun. Oh, blood man. There we go. Oh, God. <laughs> blood men are exceptionally rare, evil aligned creatures composed of blood, found only in the third cavern layer. They stand the height of a human, feel no emotion or exertion, are immune to pain, and cannot be stunned. While this sounds terrifying on paper, being made out of a liquid means you're going to lose limbs very easily. They are among the weak weakest, most harmless creatures you will encounter in the caverns, as even civilian dwarves and children can quickly punch their limbs off. Additionally, their punches are soft enough to not do real damage to even naked dwarves. When they die, they leave a tile of corrupted blood, but there's nothing dangerous about it, and it doesn't carry any sort of syndrome. Uh, despite being made of a liquid, dunking blood men in water won't cause them to fall apart. Blood men are biologically immortal and only die from violence. They can't be spawned in the object testing arena. Some dwarves like blood men for their gruesomeness. Okay then! Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I, I guess that's a word for it. I was thinking more grotesque. Interesting. Strange critters. Very. What else are we going to discover in the Dwarf Fortress? I know Everything. There's like weird, I know there's weird abominations that do come around. And, you know, the ones that are the, uh, what is it, the beast? The, uh, what is it? Legendary beast. Those are something. They're always something because they're always some random abomination of something. All right. Wouldn't that make those creatures kind of like a cow? Care? I can't say that word right now. Is uh, kind of like a what? Oh, uh, it's I can't. Never mind. It's not letting me say the word. It's a, one of the few words I can't say. That's oh. with my speech impediment. It's okay. the creature that's usually a combination of a lay and a goat and something Chimera? else. Yeah. All right. That's what they kind of remind me of, is something like that, but they're their own variant of it. Kind of. Uh, we want to start... With just blocks here.
Uh, look away if you need to. Uh, we'll put the doors up there. All right, you're good to look back. And we're actually going to align this with a couple of flooring. Maybe let's go ahead and remove the dump from these blocks. Maybe they'll finally get moved. Cool. Our first hives are set up. Yay. It actually had a strange encounter, but I think it left. Although above ground. I think it was a um wear creature. Yeah, we had a uh wear monkey. Which would have been especially bad for our fort, since I'm sure a wear monkey could have climbed up the walls of my fort to the top where you know things weren't uh sealed off yet now i've sealed them make, off but i was gonna make a saying joke but that was but i realized i wasn't in dc when that happened <laughs> where poop <laughs> Well, now my uh, immaturity is showing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> hey, at least it didn't manage to get to the fort and before it managed to change back. Yeah, they wound up changing back real fast. It was a goblin, too. I haven't seen that before. I think I have. I've seen... <clears throat> like, not a were-goblin creature. A person that was a... Hey uh, there, Serio Khan. Good to see you. Uh... Do you have one in this fort? Oh, wait, there it is. You're the lizard man. You are currently socializing. You have been interested by a very large number of things. And then horrified. And apparently you were embarrassed dwelling upon having no shoes. And you also horrified by about something. Been frustrated at one point too. <laughs> All right, Fox Kent. Oh God, CC. That is a terrible idea. Why would you put that out into the universe? Uh, you are also embarrassed upon dwelling uh, about having no shoes, uh, Fox Kent. i uh, very interested in a lot of things, but you are also sprinkled with a lot of admiration for various things. 
Uh, you are bitter after getting into an argument. You felt pleasure remembering performing. <laughs> Blood for the blood god and shoes for the shoeless. <laughs> I, I I had to do it. It it was an absolute necessity, Fox Kent. <laughs> I know it's just character creation Sunday, but still, it's going to be entertaining. Yeah, I won't be able to join for that because I got a stream, but that's fine. I'll be Is making, I'll, I'll make mine at, uh, some point. Because you know what you're doing. Yeah. Are you not entertained by my voice? Perhaps I should sacrifice you. After all, the Skull Throne does require more tribute to it. I would love to, Wolfab, but no, I don't have any... I, I haven't gotten into voice act acting. I would love to, but I haven't. I just don't know where to start. I mean, I've always been pretty good with voices, but I, I, I just don't know where to start with doing voice acting. All right, so this floor is going to be our uh, uh, one of our cavern, or our tavern. Uh, room for rent floors. I'm thinking we'll have two floors of that and then if we need more we can make more floors. But by default, or for now, we'll just have two floors of them. Not there. Rank up! Hold the line! Oh! This hamlet shall not... 2v1! Thank you very much for that raid! And welcome, everyone! Truly Hello. welcome. I am Razim, and this is Dwarf Fortress. Uh, welcome. Uh, we do variety gaming here on this channel. Uh, things such as... Uh, Dwarf Fortress, uh, Total War, Warhammer 2, uh, we also, uh, do Rimworld, uh, all sorts of games, really. Uh, we also have Dungeons and Dragons on, uh, Friday, or Tuesday, most Tuesdays and Wednesdays. A new one starting on Sundays. Uh, then we also have Lancer, which is a tabletop of mechs in space on Fridays. And Starfinder, a tabletop, uh, basically Pathfinder in space, on Saturday. No, not a B tower. Uh, we're just, uh, that was just the original goal for this stream, was to set up beekeeping. And then I got completely distracted and never set it up. What were you doing, 2v1? Dwarf Fortress? Nice. I... A 2v1, do... Uh, I'll put it in the chat. Uh, do that command in the chat for me, 2v1. Alright, number 37. And the cutie we get. Ah, uh, a really good one. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I wonder why it didn't do the uh, command for you, boot man. We, we've got uh, various Martin gifts that we uh, play. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, why did that not? It. Why did that command not run? Sometimes it, I notice it doesn't do anything. Oh, uh, Stream Raiders is up finally. Did they get it fixed. Well, while this Even is there's... playing, I will update there's it. Nothing in there in there though it says that there's a match ready but there's nothing in there there well going it... going going okay it is working i wonder why it didn't work for that is really weird but oops that away well, I guess I'll go in and play 30 as well. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this is a Martin. Uh, specifically a Russian Sable. You know, I've got a friend that is that way. Uh, he actually, every time I start up a Minecraft server, I am like, here's the mod pack, go test it. Apple. It has their treasure. She dropped the apple. <laughs> but yeah, this is a uh, Russian sable. Really adorable creatures. Alright, let me check on apple. Stream Raiders. Looks like it loaded up a little bit. Okay, no, the loading is still broken. It's still stuck forever on loading. They have not released an update yet. I guess we'll have to worry about that tomorrow. Martin Man, Martin Man, does whatever a Martin can. You know, Fox Kent, I could probably allow that depending on what the sentence is and stuff. I could probably set up a Mark's reward for that. Anyways, back to Dwarf Fortress. Have a good night, 2v1. Thank you very much for that raid. Welcome, everybody. Uh, do hit that follow button and make sure you come join us for other streams. Because we definitely do some great stuff here. If I do say so myself. And hey there, Darius. Good to see you. How are you doing tonight? All right, so right now we are setting up some tavern bedrooms for our guests that we, I don't think we actually have. I don't know why, but lately I've not been able to get any uh, guests to visit, and it's kind of sad. Maybe because they don't have anywhere to sleep? That usually doesn't stop them. Huh. In fact, uh, it's not at all required for you to provide bedrooms uh for them. Huh. Interesting. I think there might be a glitch somewhere. I haven't had any die. I mean, I've had some of my dwarves die. Oh, From yeah. I, I remember that. Uh, I, I remember you, yeah, 2v1.
But am I following you back? I should really check that. Where is my mouse? There it is. Yep. I am not following you back. There, I have fixed it. Yeah, I see that. Guys, go follow uh, 2v1. You're almost a par- uh, not a partner. A affiliate. So guys, go help them. Spread the love. Bring them the victory they so rightly deserve. All right. That doesn't feel like enough bedrooms. I mean, I guess it's 12 per floor, but still. Well, I mean, I guess I could do a... No, I wouldn't be able to add another... Not with this, uh... Set up. Get limestone blocks across here. And actually, I don't want it up there. Cancel those. There. Absolutely! So, enjoy your affiliate! <laughs> Get, let me know once you get that set up, uh, 2v1, if you're still there. Or one of you, come let me know once they got their affiliate actually set up. Uh, they gotta receive an invitation from Twitch first. I believe it's applause wired. If I remember what I set the command up as. Well, I'm gonna go to sleep because I'm very tired and I'm about to fall asleep on you. Sleep is boring. I know. Well, then why are you doing it? I'm, well, I'm going cross-eyed. <laughs> Fine. I guess you can go to bed. Have fun with the dwarves. Uh-huh. And fuzzy people. <laughs> I mean, it's a valid question, Cece. We'll go ahead and have some extra... Some quote-unquote nicer bedrooms. Uh, through here just because I want some more even though I don't think I'm actually ever gonna have this many people but hey alright guys look away if you need to I need to remove some walls
That's my version of epilepsy warning. All right, you're good to look back. Absolutely, 2v1. Let me know if uh, once you get your uh, affiliate set up. I'll come throw you a... Uh... Uh, what do you mean by that, Serio? Is dormitory a thing? Oh, you mean like multiple beds in one room? No, I don't actually do that except for the barracks. Uh, I have individual bedrooms set up for each uh, dwarf. Down here in our luxury condos with a fine view of the lake. I use different floors uh, alternating on these uh, just so I can keep track of everything. Well, thank you, CC. Uh, these uh, four buildings here are nobles mansions. Two nobles in each... Uh, mansion All right, I think we are ready to build our walls Hmm what is the best way to go about this so they don't accidentally block stuff off Probably this way And yeah, I'll put one here and one here for now. Uh, we will suspend this one, that one, that one. So they hopefully will build the ones that you know, we'll get blocked off by other walls first. <clears throat> All right, walls. Do that. Do that. And after these ones are done, we should be good to go for just placing all of the rest without having to remove anything or anything like that. Absolutely. I honestly had assumed that you were already a uh, an affiliate. <laughs> All right. Now we can finish this up easier. Hopefully. Perfect. Please don't break. Ha ha! We'll let all those get built. And then we will probably save and end the stream, unfortunately. And I'll have to find somebody to go raid.
We got one wall. What is wrong with it? Okay, it's not suspended. Would somebody go finish that? There we go. So we did at least get some hives set up. I don't know if they've actually put anybody in there. No, we don't have anybody in these hives yet. Well, that's a colony of ants. Are there actually any bees on this map? I hope so. Oh no! We don't seem to have any bees. It's not in that area. At least I can clear out that colony of ants. I wish there were a search function. Be like, search for this colony of bees. not doing a very thorough and in-depth look, but... Uh, yes, bees can appear later, so we can at least hope for that. Maybe they're over... maybe there's some over here. Doesn't look like it, but I will actually go ahead and build a bridge across this, uh, to this other island, just in case we ever need it. Eh, a, wood, a wooden bridge works for me. I think it is winter still, yeah. A road, not a floor? Alright. Well, either way, I gotta end here, so we'll figure it out next time. So, yeah, thank you all so much for joining me this evening for Dwarf Fortress. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with more streaming. Uh, it will be Borderlands 3, followed by something else. I don't know what yet. I'll figure it out then. Uh... Oh, an unpaved road. Yeah, I probably should have done that instead. I'll hopefully for remember to do that. But anyways, thank you all so much for joining. Check out our website, zgfgaming.com. We've got links for our Discord, Telegram, Twitter, Patreon, all those good things. Uh, they're on the website as well as down in the description below. Thank you to my patrons, donators, and subscribers. It is because of you guys that I'm able to continue bringing these streams to you all. I really couldn't do it without you. Uh, and yeah, see you all tomorrow, and I bid you all the most fondest... Adieu. 
Have a good night, everyone. Stick around in the chat. I'm gonna find somebody to raid. Have a good night, 2v1. Good night, Serial Khan. Good night, Eric Clast, Wolf Fab, Toshime, and Wired, and Fox Kent. See you all next time. <laughs>